What's up, everybody? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. I have been in a lull. You know, basically, I haven't gotten many steroid questions for a long, long, long time. I get them, but they're occasional. And I usually just say, consult your doctor, consult your doctor, consult your doctor. And lately, what I've been getting is a lot of people who will say, Mark, I just went ahead. I didn't follow your advice. And I totally screwed up. And they always have horror stories. I've had five of those this last week where I say, look, stay natural. And I will always maintain that if you do not have a doctor's reason to be on, to stay natural. And so being that I've had within the last two weeks, honestly, since Rich Piana put up his dream cycle for the beginning of the year, which is absolutely absurd and over the top. I've had so many individuals come to me asking about sources, which I honestly have no clue about. I know you guys are going to call me a fake natty, this and that. I'm not claiming natural by any means, but I've always stood by the fact that one, I would never, ever inject something from a source that I have never even qualified. That's not an FDA approved facility into my body, um, mainly because you don't know what's in there. And I'm going to go into some issues that I've had because I am in the bodybuilding community and I do see a lot of things. There's a guy who's very close to me who actually had to have his leg cut open, has a permanent scar and was extremely sick because he took a dirty injection while well, it was clean. He used rubbing alcohol and all that, but the oil itself was dirty and he got cellulitis and they had to literally cut out tissue out of his leg. I've, I looked this up. I saw stories on the internet of people injecting into their glutes and having like a divot in their glutes now where they got literally necrosis. I believe it's necrosis. Where, um, is, that, is that liver death, right? Basically, the, the tissues died and they, they, they lost that muscle because the androgen got the, what they injected. And even though he's running alcohol and everything, it just formed this pus nastiness, ate away at the muscle and was just disgusting. If I could find a picture online of what I, I saw this before, if I have time, I'll post it right here. If I don't, then fuck it. You can look it up yourself. At the end of the day, you are taking a risk when you take, let's say you go and you're, uh, let's say you like, um, I don't know. Let's say you like ecstasy. It's a pill. Okay. You swallow it could do a lot of really, really bad things, but it's a pill. When you inject, you not only risk the toxicity of having an improper compound, but you also risk the infection. And I've seen it happen more times than I care for. I've seen a lot of cellulitis. Um, I did see an issue. This guy online who actually trained with my old partner, John, injected a ton of shit into his calf. Next thing you know, he's in the hospital um, for a few days. I have no clue what was in there. He said he injected like three cc's of EQ in his calf, which is crazy to begin with, but he got dirty gear. And I'm not by any means condoning illegal drug use, but I'm saying that no matter what I say on this channel, no matter how much I tell you that most people should not venture to that side, no matter what I do, no one's, a lot of people are not going to listen to me. So for the, fast, for the past few weeks, I've been talking to a lot of people, a lot of pro bodybuilders, a lot of ex-pro bodybuilders. You'll probably see them listed on where, where I found out as people who are with the company, okay? And it, it sounded weird when I looked it up. And there's things in this country that are legal that are HRT and TRT clinics. And I don't fully understand how they get FDA approval for their facilities to manufacture crazy drugs that shit. I don't, I don't even know what half of them mean really, to be honest with you, but you have them compounding and legally manufacturing for the FDA. And I checked on this and it is an FDA facility and things like HGH and things like Boldenone, things like testosterone, things like, I, I don't, I, I don't remember. Did I see Tremblone? I don't know. But so I looked it up and I spoke to the owner, the CEO, one of the doctors there, 
and there's 15 plus doctors on staff. And I also spoke to people who use them. I spoke to people who use them who are just regular customers, actually people at my own gym who I just asked her, I'm just like, where do you buy your stuff? Because I legitimately don't know. People go, hey, what's a source? I have, I don't know sources. I'm, I'm not, I know y'all ain't going to believe it. I'm not in that game. That's not my game. And I'm not, by all means, do not call me a fake natty, please. I'm not claiming natural. But just, just trust that I, I don't go buy black market steroids. I don't inject black market steroids. I, I, it's just not something I do. And uh, I'm not going to give you my Dr. Rosenberg's uh, email so you could get a source by a local GP. You know, it's like his name's not Rosenberg, by the way. Um, not that I'm on anything anyway. I'm not going to say I'm on or not, but you could draw your own conclusions. I don't give a shit. Um, because whatever I say is going to be the wrong answer, what I'm saying. If I say I'm on, you're going to say fake natty. If I say I'm on, it's not good. If I say I'm not on, I'm a fake natty. So I just quit saying anything. But anyway, so... What I did find is wellness, fitness, nutrition. And a lot of these pro guys swear by them. And a lot of these guys that, believe it or not, who are bodybuilders locally use this, this, this place. And so I contacted the guy over there, the guy in charge. And I'll post his info down below. Um, there's also just, you know, I, I told him that I put this, this up because I really think this is something. I don't want you guys doing anything. If you're natural, stay natural. But if you're not going to listen anyway, at least listen to me and not go to an underground lab and you utilize this. So there's a code under there just so he knows you're with me. He'll hook you up. Whatever. I don't care. Just don't. I'm, I'm saying don't. You know what I mean? Like don't. But my whole thing is, you know, um, I'm afraid that people are going to get caught up doing some bunk shit. So I looked on the boards. I actually Googled it. And there's a lot of forums who say that this itself is an underground lab. It sells bunk product. In fact, some other YouTubers are saying that it sells bunk product. But what I also found is these boards were sponsored by the underground labs. Um, so obviously, they're not, or the underground sites that ship from like Europe and all this stuff. So again, this is a whole new world to me. And I just really did the research because I get a lot of these questions. And, um, I don't know what y'all are going to think about me coming out and saying this, but I've always maintained you go back video to video to video, never get anything without a prescription. From what I understand, this is a site that has doctors on staff that will get your blood work and stuff done, and it's done via script. I don't know the intricacies of it. I just know that if it's FDA, it's better than the alternative. So all I'm asking is that if you do decide to go down that route, or if you're an older gentleman who just wants to look into TRT, for long longevity, health, and maybe you're deficient in HGH or whatever, I would. I'm gonna link it down below just so you know what it is. But I would look into this as something that's like, again, like I want you guys to stay natural. Don't get don't get on that bed. Don't get on that thing where you have to have to inject once a week to maintain normalcy. Don't take a perfectly fine working body. And make it require something for to sustain its level of awesomeness, right? A lot of you guys are just fine. But for those of you who are not going to listen to my pleas to be natural anyway, and for those of you who maybe are on and are looking for something that won't potentially cause you to have your leg lopped off or cause you to be in the, in the hospital for sepsis, and I'm not vouching by any means. I'm not saying that, oh, I've used 10. No, I haven't used them at all. No. Um, but at the end of the day, there it is. Links down below. And I encourage you guys, there's been a lot of YouTubers posting cycles, and I've seen a concurrent increase in what people are doing and asking me about to what's being said on the internet. Um, Rich Piana, Boston Lloyd, etc. In Boston, you're looking fantastic right now, brother. Congratulations. Um, however, what does worry me is that people are going to go and get these cycles without anybody telling, giving him advice, a doctor. You know, they're going to get these cycles and not only are they going to use these absurd dosages, but they're going to get them from a source that isn't legit and they're going to really hurt themselves. Like I said before in many videos, steroids have not inherently directly killed anybody. We can argue about hearts and this and that. At the end of the day, I'm not going to argue that at all. However, what I will say is that I don't think anybody can argue this. People are going to do what people are going to do. 
And if they do it, I want to make sure that if they're going to have risk, I want to have them minimize that risk. And if that means simply getting it from someone who's not going to cause a septic reaction because it's made in someone's toilet toilet bowl, I'm all for that. So guys, there you go. I'm Mark Lobliner, tigerfitness.com. Take it for what it's worth. Just don't use underground labs. Go to your doctor. At, at least contact this guy. But at best, go to your doctor. And if you really have a testosterone or a, a growth hormone deficiency, get that medically treated. But don't use steroids as a crush. Don't use steroids. Don't use them. You know, you don't need them. You really don't. And, and, and also, unless you're willing, like I've said, and other guys on YouTube have said many times, unless you're willing to make a lifelong commitment to TRT, the minute you come off cycle, you're losing all of your gains. It's just going to happen. I know people are going to comment below. I never lost my gains. You're an anomaly. Because I talked to 20 people in the last week who lost all their gains and are not only having trouble gaining them back, trouble gaining an erection, but are also having trouble psychologically because now they're small. It is what it is. I just speak from experience. Take it for what it's worth. I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Because trying not to have your leg lopped off because you made a bad choice with Underground Labs, that's not a game.